So ladies and gentlemen, by now, you have probably already heard or seen several videos on that being the moment that Dr. Disrespect found out more than likely that Midnight Society, the studio that he essentially founded, terminated their relationship with him. Now, this is from the studio itself, and you'll have to forgive me today if my voice and my tone and my mood is a little less than ecstatic, a little less than excited, less than thrilled. Um, but this is the Twitch ban all over again. It happened in pretty much the exact same way that the Twitch ban happened. Doc is in the middle of a stream. He leans down to look at his phone and he finds out that his studio, and for all intent and purpose, it is his studio. He co-founded it. It would not exist without him. Terminated their relationship with him. And the tweet, in all honesty, is garbage. It's trash. It explains nothing. On Friday evening, we became aware of an allegation against one of our co-founders, Guy Beam, aka Dr. Disrespect. We assumed his innocence. Um, obviously you didn't, and began speaking with parties involved. That's literally the most explanation this tweet provides. In order to maintain our principles, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam immediately. They literally provided no evidence, no clues, no nothing, no proof that they confirmed anything to be true, that they placed eyes on anything that was being claimed, that proved to them this was true. They didn't do any of that. They simply said, we spoke with the parties involved. Everything after that is garbage. In order to maintain and our principles and standards as a studio, Nobody cares about your principles and standards as a studio. No one gives a shit about that. What everyone does give a shit about is where this jerk-off, this loser wannabe, is getting this information from and where the proof that it happened is. So today, I'm a little on edge, man, and I wanted to record this video because of that. And not so much just because I'm upset that one of the only streamers that I watch, one of the only forms of entertainment that I consume personally, is probably now, who knows, if not permanently gone, permanently retiring, how long they will be gone. It's not just for that reason, which is a big reason, but it's because of the culture that we live in where somebody can get online, can get on the internet, and run their dumb bitch ass mouth, and present absolutely no evidence to anything that they're saying, and slander someone's name, libel against someone, and get away with it, and cause somebody to lose everything that they've built, everything they've worked on, put time into, money into, energy into, and all this dumb motherfucker had to do was get on Twitter and tweet something and present no evidence for it. And let me be very, very clear. I am not saying, again, because there's no proof, I'm not saying that he's guilty or that he's innocent. No one knows because there's never been any proof, never been any evidence presented to the public that shows this to be the case. If Doc really did do this, then by all means, terminate your relationship with him. He deserves that. He deserves to be permanently retired from the gaming community if he really did do that. If there's evidence shown proving he did that, then by all means, I wouldn't defend him. But there isn't, and there never has been, and there probably never will be. Now, by day, 
I work in the IT field as a systems administrator, so I know for a fact that there are logs and data that could have been pulled from any given server that this information would have existed on and that those logs would have been kept, they would have been secured for any instance that Twitch needed to take a stand against him. But Twitch paid him. They finalized his contract and they paid him, which means that if this is true, which there has been no evidence for, Twitch committed just as much of a crime as he did. They are in just as much of the wrong of corruption as he is. They both fucked up. If it's true, there has been no evidence proving that it's true. So my irritation, my disappointment, my less than stellar tone is because someone who I enjoyed watching to decompress and just forget about the day is not only now probably retiring or at least taking a significant sabbatical <laughs> hiatus, but it's a gleaming, beaming light on the part of our garbage ass culture, our pussy ass culture. And this video is going to be raw, it just is. That's able to get on the fucking internet because there's no immediate repercussion for what they do on the internet and say whatever the fuck they want without the fear of getting smacked across the mouth for saying it or having to present some sort of case for saying it to justify why they're saying what they say. So we live in a generation now of sensitive, pussy-ass keyboard warriors who can get online and who can say whatever the hell they want and ruin someone's life, ruin something that someone has built and present absolutely no evidence for it. No evidence required in 2024. No evidence needed. We're just going to make this shit up as we go. And if we don't like you, we're just going to flip the table over and we're going to rearrange it all the way that we want it to look to make sure that what we want done is what happens. That's the age we live in. This is the epitome of that on full display. Now, to open this window back up, that moment happened right around the 3 minute and 11 second mark, where Doc obviously looks at his phone here in just a second, looks down at his phone, reads the message that he got, and then the entire tone of the stream changes. Exactly, exactly the way that it happened four years ago when Twitch banned him while he was streaming. He found out via text message while he was streaming and ended the stream. Literally the exact same way. Now, I don't know who the fuck this guy is. I don't even remember his, his name. Here it is right here. Um, Cody Connors. He's a former CPM explainer at Twitch. I'm, I'm, I don't know what that is, a CPM explainer. Sounds like a made-up bullshit-ass job. He's a cost, oh, that can't be it, cost per mile explainer, cost per, I don't know what it is, customer something management, or I, I don't know what it is. It sounds like a bogus, garbage-ass, made-up title. He's a former CPN explainer at Twitch. Um, otherwise, I don't know who this person is. And I don't think anybody probably does. What this person would have had to have gained from tweeting this. Um, 
I am the least shit ever, Gosler. I don't think she, I haven't read any of this dude's tweets. I guess the uh, the word was is that he may be sued for slandering his name. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This guy uh, strikes me off the top, and I'll take every single one of these words back. I'll publicly take them all back if there is proof released that shows this to be true. This just seems like some wannabe former Twitch employee trying to get eyes on him and his band, whatever it is he's doing with his music career. Uh, so he decided that he wanted to make a tweet to stir up controversy. And I'll take every single bit of that back if he comes through and he shows proof. If Twitch releases proof, if anybody releases any sort of proof, I'll publicly take all of that back. I'll publicly apologize for that. I have nothing wrong. I don't have any anything wrong with doing that. Uh, but again, let me turn this light on real quick so you can see me better. Again, this video is not, you know, going to be a well-curated, well-crafted, high-production-quality, high-value video uh, because of the two things that I've already mentioned. Um, it's just the scummy underbelly of society that we live in now where people can get away with doing shit like this and just ruin people's fucking lives without presenting any evidence for it at all it's also the scummy and pathetic side of the streaming and gaming industry and what that's become long gone are the days of going to the store to get a game and going home and reading the pamphlet on that game and exploring that game and having a great experience with that game uh nowadays you're just downloading the game. There's no relationship or attachment to the game really anymore. And half the games that are being released are garbage. They're horse shit. They're promise after empty promise after in empty promise that we pay for, that we alpha and beta test for free. And then they just run. They run with our money. And I don't think people realize that. I myself don't think I really realized or thought about that until this happened, that you know, this industry gaming has become such a commodity that streamers and being a streamer, being a game creator, a content creator, it doesn't really have shit to do with gaming, man. It doesn't have anything to do with playing good games. It has everything to do with being an entity, a brand that's owned by a company, that's paid by a company to promote a specific message. Not much different than an actor who's doing makeup commercials or selling cars. There is a level of individuality and uniqueness to every content creator's community, but the elite streamers that exist now, I mean, we're seeing it with Nick Merckx as well. That's a whole different topic. But you don't get to just be who you are. You don't get to just say what you want to say or have your own opinions because that's just not the role you serve. You are now the face of a brand. You are the extension of a brand. And I don't think people think about that when they think about content creation and what it means to make it as a content creator. The exclusivity culture of it's disgusting. The better than you culture of it is disgusting. The cheating and getting away with cheating just because you're the face of a brand or the name of a brand, it's disgusting, man. The drama, the e-network, lifetime movie drama, it's just a joke. We're supposed to be playing games. That's it. Games, man. I mean, how privileged are we? How lucky are we? To be able to sit down and play games, to have people watch us play games, to talk to us about those games. And if we're even more lucky to have someone donate their hard earned money to watch us play games. But this is the underbelly 
the nasty, moldy, mildewy, disgusting underbelly of this whole industry and of the culture that we currently live in, where anyone can pick up their phone and run their bitch-ass mouth on the internet because they'll get away with it. Because now, evidence is no longer required. You can just say whatever the fuck you want. And you'll lose everything. You'll lose everything. And even when evidence is presented, it's still like a marathon to figure out whether the evidence that has been presented is actually legitimate or not. But again, I don't know if these claims are true. They might be true. And if they are, then okay. He, he got what he deserved. It's all come out. We've aired out the dirty laundry. He got what he deserved. I'll apologize for calling out the, the guy who tweeted it. Doesn't bother me at all. But nothing has been proven. Nothing was shown when he was originally banned on Twitch. Nothing is being shown now. And I would be willing to bet money. Nothing's going to be fucking shown. But here we are, and he's going to lose everything he's built over the last four years since he came back because some random fucking former CPM employee decided to make a tweet. And that's it. Quite frankly, man, and if you've made it this far into the video, I appreciate it. There are certainly far more well-curated uh, videos on the topic uh, at this point. Far more. It's all over my feed now. Um, and some owls bonding. That's nice. But um, it just disgusts me, man. It really does. It disgusts me because... Uh, it, the age that we live in, it, it's almost like it's just not even real. It's almost like nothing counts for anything anymore. There's no ethical or moral foundation, no due process to anything anymore. And even if there is, how do you know whether or not to even fucking believe it? Everything is so damn corrupt and bought and sold. And again, if Twitch did cover this up and paid him out, they are just as complicit in the crime as he is, okay? That's called aiding and abetting. They deliberately covered up that information. They paid him and let him go. That is just as much of a crime as if he actually did it. I don't know, man. It really makes you think like, you know, I've got the I've got the YouTube channel and this is something I've been doing for almost a year now and I've got the Twitch and we're trying to multi-stream and grow and it's you know, it's fun. We're trying to play games and we're trying to do all this stuff and it's just like it just makes you think about what the nature of this industry really is, like what this really looks like at the highest level. You know, the people who are really making it in this industry. That this is not just people playing games, man. This is just as much of a corporate, commodity-based, corrupt business as any other business on the planet. Because these people represent companies, and they represent those companies' interests. So, I don't know, man. It's just disappointing. Really messed my mood up today, man. Again, not because I lost somebody who I enjoyed seeing and watching, but because there's just no proof. There's no validation. There's no reason for any of it. And who knows if there ever will be, you know? Who the hell knows if there ever will be? But anyway, um, yeah, I'm sorry this video wasn't, you know, like five-star quality. I don't really care. That's not what this video is about. This is a real raw video. Um, it's disappointing, man. Every year that I get older and the more and more, just like Doc was saying at the, be at the end of his stream, this internet technology-based culture that we live in is just garbage, man. 
And the more I get older, every year that I get older, the more I want to have less to do with it. Uh, and that sucks because pursuing what I'm trying to pursue now with streaming, it requires that, you know, it, it requires that, but it's just, it's just disgusting, man. And, um, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. And who knows, maybe he is guilty and I'll take back everything I said. If he's guilty, I'll record another video. If I find out he's guilty in the next 10 minutes, I'll record another video. Um, but there's no proof. There's no evidence of that, and who knows if there ever will be. But I guess I'll end it there. Uh, if you didn't know, then hopefully you know now. You're bound to know any minute. Uh, but yeah, um, it's a shame. Anyway, guys and gals, no fancy editing on this one. No intros, no outros, no music. Uh, I just wanted to express my thoughts on that. And uh, if you do watch the video, thank you. Um, I hope you realize and understand that if you are a fellow creator on YouTube or Twitch or TikTok or whatever, I hope this sheds some light on what this industry really is. If you're pursuing content creation, uh, I hope it sheds light on what this industry really is, at least in the gaming space. I can't speak to certain niche, niches, niches outside of gaming, but at least in the gaming space, I hope it gives you some perspective like it gave me. Uh, so anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll just see what the fuck happens. But until then, I will catch you guys in the next video. I'll catch you guys in the next stream.